from the depth instant tutorial. This time I'm going to teach you a little bit about how to use the camera in from the depth because we have had some updates before and some people seem to not be able to get it right. So let's start with the basics. We have a free flying camera, we have tab, we get back to our character, we click tab again, we fly again and here you can see I'm actually bound to the vehicle now. My camera is with the vehicle and I need to cl click E and then click E again and then I am free from the camera so I can kind of you know stand still in the air. If I click tab I'm on my character, click tab again, I'm on a free camera bound to the vehicle and I need to click E two times to uh, get unbound so I can you know just be still in the air. So that's how that works. All right, um, you probably see here that we have a little camera tool uh, down here. If we click Z, you can see the essentials, binoculars, have them on your uh, toolbar, select the binoculars. You can zoom in and zoom out with mouse one and mouse two. If you zoom in like this, you'll get a much better image if you take screenshots. If you want to take screenshots, you will use the F12 key. However, if you want to make sure that you don't have a HUD on the screenshot, you will click F9 and you will be able to take a screenshot without the HUD. If you want to be on the vehicle when you're taking a screenshot, you can of course click tab tab again and then just fly out to a good distance zoom in with a camera you're with a vehicle you can take a screenshot we got some new camera locking on options so basically if you see this vehicle down here we can hold control and click caps lock while aiming on it and we will lock onto this vehicle like this uh, with the distance maintained that we already have we can zoom in and zoom out with the camera with mouse 1 and mouse 2 and we can also move the camera position by using the scroll wheel. Right, and there is another little uh, thing that's basically shift caps lock. And that will lock you on to whatever uh, zoom in you had last. So if you zoom in like this, kind of this close, then we just move, uh, move our mouse buttons to move away. And then we sh click shift caps lock again. We lock on to the same distance here. So they are kind of similar and they're easy to kind of mix up, but control caps lock will ma make you maintain the distance. And uh, shift caps lock, it's always a surprise because you don't really remember what the zoom level you had last was. And that's of course uh, the scroll wheel zoom button, right? So now we're zoomed in close and we zoom out like this, we disengage lock with the shift again and now we are still far away because that's the last setting and if we take the control caps lock we will always maintain the distance that we have when we're locking on then we have another type of camera to talk about and that is the build camera if we click b we got into build mode like this and we can move around in a certain speed and if you want to change the speed you can actually change it Go to build options and here we have cursor speed, normal speed, it's set to 10. We can set it to 12 and you can see double tap speed. So if we double tap, you know, a key here, we move a certain faster speed. And for me, I think it's a little bit slow. So we go in here, build options, double tap speed, set this to 50 almost like that. And we can see this is the normal speed and this is the... Uh, faster speed so we can kind of move around large vehicles uh, quickly let's talk about some controls for the other camera you know you can click shift and l to get light l as in light to light up some stuff if it's a little bit dark for example if we go into options we have environment you can set it to constant time and constant weather if you prefer that or if you want the weather and the time to change while you play you can have that, but check these if you want the same time and weather all the time. In view and control, we have camera speed and all sorts of stuff. So we have the field of view, which is, you know, how you play your game. This is absolutely just up for preference, but this is like character based, camera based field of view. The field of view is both for the character and camera, so set it to whatever you like. Now we have camera speed, right? 
This is the normal camera speed one and if we go into settings here you can see if you think it's a little bit too slow you can set the camera speed to 1.5 perhaps. Then we have the camera boost speed and that's set to 8 by default. I think it's a little bit slow so we can move it up to 12 and we can see what happens. So now our normal camera moves this fast so we can easily move around big vehicles and uh, now our boosted camera goes this fast so we can very quickly move around the different crafts like this. But also when switching views between vehicles don't forget the lock on button which you also can use. You can even zoom in with the camera to get a better aim. There we go. And that I believe is the most important things you need to know about the camera when building and maneuvering in from the depth. And that I believe is the most important things to know when controlling the camera for building and else in from the depth. <laughs> <laughs>